All right, welcome back. We're gonna be talking about how to install a stampede strap on a hat. In front of me, you can see a bunch of different hats. I'm gonna show you how to do it on a palm leaf. The stampede strap, if you don't know, um, is the strap that you put on on your hat that goes underneath your chin that keeps your hat from blowing off. I'm um, gonna show you kind of a couple different ways to do that. If you're new to this channel, this is the Startup Cowboy channel. We talk about all things Western fashion, hats, horses, ropes, anything you can think of, questions you have, we try to answer them. If you like this video, hit that like button but also subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. So like I said, we're going to talk about stampede straps. I'm going to show you what one looks like that is installed on a hat. You can see this hat here. Um, it's hard to tell that it has a stampede strap unless you're looking close. I'll go ahead and point to a little indicator here. You can see it installed here on the back. Um, inside the hat, it looks like this. So the sizing of this hat is big enough to where I can wear this hat. These two pieces of the stampede strap don't rub on my head. You don't know I have a stampede strap until I grab right here, pull, and out it comes. That's one way of installing it. I'll talk about, about another way it's traditionally installed, and then we'll show you how I did this right here. All right, so typically when you get a stampede strap, if, you, if you're going to buy one, it comes looking very similar to this. So one continuous loop with a keeper right here. A lot of them will come with fasteners on the fringe end, so it'll be a loop basically with a little ring. Um, and then some of them are kind of enough to install or, or have this on there, this small cotter key. And I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. You can buy these at any hardware store. This one's about 16 cents, I believe. It's really small, and there's a reason for that because once this is setting up in your hat, you don't want it to be really bulky. Um, there's a downside, and I'll kind of explain that as we go along. The downside is you basically drive this in um, exactly where I have mine, and then you spread it. Depending on what you are using your stampede strap for, if it's a look thing, probably going to be fine. If there's true wind or you're going fast, these often fall out or the hat will have too much leverage on this small little cotter key and it doesn't work. And that's kind of the way, the reason why I installed mine this way. So I'll show you how, I'll show you how these are installed. So when you get um, your traditional one, it might come with these, it might not, but it would look like this. It would be sitting there um, just like so. So I'm going to show you how to do that because some of you might go out and buy one, and that's awesome. I'm just going to show you how to install that. So you can do it on any of these hats. Um, I'm going to show you on this just straight straw here, only because it's easy to see where this is going. So the first step that you'll want to do is put this hat on, and you'll measure where you want this. So I'll just zoom on back, and then I'll show you where this goes. So this hat will go on your head like so, and then you take – this is comical, I'm sure. You'll take a pencil, and you'll go right in front of your ear – and mark that spot on the actual brim itself. And then you would do it on the other side as well. You can have someone help you do that. Once you have your marks, you would go to the hat and don't look at it critically and think, man, that does not look even because here's a new slash where your ears are probably not as um, centered on your face as you think they are. So trust that spot. Then you will take your cotter key and you're gonna split this part of the sweatband back towards you. And you, at that point in time, you'll see these small stitches. You're going to put this guy right in there. So that's what it looks like. Once it's in there, on the inside, you will see it come through. Once it's through, you're going to spread that back out. And I'll pull this out so you can see what I'm talking about. So what you're going to do is you're going to end up spreading it. And inside your hat, it will look like that. And that's going to be anchored down on the inside of your sweatband. Now, like I said before, depending on the wind, depending on what you're doing, that might not be strong enough. So if you choose to do it differently, which I would recommend if you are new to stampede straps, start with that. It's not going to hurt your hat. It's not going to do anything um, irreversible to your stampede strap. You can start with that. If that does not work for you, move on to step two, which is the way that I have this one installed. The way that this one is installed, there are no cotter pins up inside. This one has a hole poked in the side of the brim, not the crown, just so you know, and I'll talk about that in a second. And that stampede strap is, is fed through there around the back of the hat and then fed back down, which leaves you that. So on the inside, you'll see that that comes back through right there where the junction of the, the brim and the crown meet right there. If you were to put that in the actual crown itself, that would poke out higher on your head and you would probably feel it or the, the geometry of where that's coming through would pull down more than it needs to. So the way that I did that is first, 
I took a, so here's a palm leaf hat that does not have a hole installed. Now, if you were to get this done professionally, or you were to order a hat with it, it might have something what's called a grommet or an eyelet. It's this small brass, um, basically washer on one side and a washer on the other that interlock and are tight. So you have to punch a hole and then you have to install those. The reason why someone would install this is so that the integrity of the weave of the hat wouldn't break down over time. My philosophy is one, I don't like the way they look. They don't look authentic to me. Um, they're probably the right way to go. So what I would recommend doing first is just poking a hole, installing your, your um, stampede strap this way. If your hole ever tries to degrade over time, you can either treat that hole with what I did with this one, which was nail polish and help seal it very similar to the grommet, or you can then at that point in time, put your grommet in. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. And then we can kind of look at it here. And that's basically how simple it is to install one of these. I need to grab a tool real quick. I'll be right back. This is a multi-tool. Not everyone's gonna have one of these, but you can get this done with a simple ice pick or an awl or a really small flathead screwdriver. So this multi-tool has a really small awl, which looks like a little sharp, um, Oh gosh, what am I trying to say? Uh, screwdriver. So what I would do is you'd find your spot where you're going to punch through. So this one I have not measured, so I'll be careful. But you can see on the underside of this palm leaf, what I'm going to do is try to poke this direction, not this direction. So I say this is my spot. I'm going to reach that in there, and I'm going to tip it up, and I'm going to drive it through. Okay. What that will do is it'll poke through. What I don't want to have happen is it drive straight up through into this. I want it to actually drive into the brim itself, okay? So just like a cooking show in the magic of time, I'll undo this one real quick so you can kind of see um, a couple things on here. I'll just undo one side and show you what that looks like once you have fed it through. Now, when you're doing this, I'll tell you the materials that I use to do this. Everyone can find them. So that's what that hole looks like when you punch it through. You can see it's right at the junction of the actual crown and the brim. This one has a discoloration there. I treated that with as close to the color that I could find of um, actual nail polish that seals that hole in. I only coat the outside. You can coat the inside. You can see what the inside looks like. Okay, so then you would take your pre-bought stampede strap and you would fit it over the top of your hat like so and then poke your tails down through your two holes and that's where you see that coming through. So we'll just simulate that. You poke your tails down through that hole. And a lot of stampede straps come pretty long. And I would recommend, especially if you're going to do the option that I'm telling you to do, keep them as long as you can until you've decided how long you want to use it for. So that's when it's, it's, it's installed like that. Then you have your keeper. And you can use just about anything for your keeper. I would recommend something that fits tight around the two strands so that it's not going to slide. The other uh, recommendation I would have is make sure you use something that's lighter. So leather is the exact same weight as your stampede strap if you're using a leather one or a wooden um, uh, bead or a button. You can really customize that all you want. I have the piece of an old watch band right there only because it was laying around and it's lightweight. So you would punch a hole in a piece of leather, a piece of rain, doesn't really matter, or a bead, feed it down through the two holes, and then you're done. Now. It's basically how you want to wear this is how you finish it. So if you're the type of person that wants to keep a long stampede strap and it hangs down between the front of your face or behind your head, you can always keep it down. I tuck mine up into my hat because for the most part, I don't like the look of a stampede strap, but I need it when it's windy. And all I do there is I pull my sweatband up and I tuck it up inside there and you never see it. So this stampede strap was made out of Simple leather lace, you can get this at a Hobby Lobby. You can get this, honestly, at most hardware stores, not just tax stores. Most tax stores are gonna have something like this. If you're unable to find that, a simple boot lace, the exact same um, diameter as that, works really well. A boot lace itself will make up to two stampede straps, okay? So just know that you're, if you're making one, you're not gonna need the whole thing, so you're gonna cut quite a bit of it. But that's basically all the tools you'll need. You'll need a boot lace or leather um, lace like so something to poke your hole with and then you get to decide how you want to finish it whatever button you're going to use but that's kind of how the stampede strap works i'd recommend if you're buying a stampede strap that's already made go ahead and install it the way it's supposed to if that works for you great that first option i showed you with a cotter key that goes up inside there um, and then move on from there where i live that doesn't cut it you got to have the real thing and this is the way that i install mine so hopefully for those of you who've asked about that or want to know how to install a stampede string 
maybe that'll get you there quicker uh, than just trying it out by yourself. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe as well.